complicated house around about 1946. Now, that's around the time that Deborah Harry was born, the voice of Blondie. She's getting on a bit, isn't she? No, she is not. Now, Deborah Harry is back in the country doing a series of Unplugged with a pared-down band. That means that she was around before the Beatles. She's prefab four. <laughs> What's a prefab four? It's for living in stupid. <laughs> It's back to basics for Deborah on this tour. She is going to be playing a few of the old Blondie songs, but has no regrets about letting that group remain in the past. I don't think that I really prefer the old tunes, but um, uh, I, I can relate to some of them, and uh, I still like playing them. They, they, they uh, hold their own as pieces of music. I really love music, and I love I love performing music, and I feel that uh, I've improved. So that 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 makes it more exciting. You know, practice makes perfect. I think that I would uh, wish to have Blondie now. I mean, it would have been ideally nice to continue and have that be what I always wanted it to be. I would like not to be that person that you know, regrets things or, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I mean, you know, what, what a waste. I'll take the way I can see now. I don't know if my audience has really changed. I, I think that, um, some of the original fans are still with me. Thank you. Somebody's always yelling out something in the, from the audience about some song that they want to hear, and, and uh, that's always exciting, uh, gratifying. It's probably a little bit unrewarding to uh, really make a stand for individuality, and making a stand for yourself and being an individual are, are very important things, and if that's part of being a punk, then Bravo. And for this week's competition, we've got tickets for her Symphony Hall concert. Plus, she signed a very own baseball cap. Plus, CDs, signed CDs of deprivation. So let's go back to Deborah now for actually what's a very difficult question. What American poet was um, quoted on several of the Blondie records? Well, I didn't know Americans wrote poetry. Graffiti, yes. Anyway, was it A, Franklin D. Roosevelt, B, Ronald Reagan, or C, Edgar Allan Poe? Turn your answer in on 0891 500 162. Lines open for 24 hours.